Welcome to your June 19th to June 25th energy reading. So we're doing your weekly energy reading. There's going to be three major energy portals coming through for you. Some are very exciting. One is uh, quite emotional. So we'll talk more about it. If this interests you, if you want to know how this is going to support your life, your purpose, your mission, keep on watching. Welcome back to Awaken with Tina. My name is Tina Wong. I'm a spiritual guide and mentor for the ones who are here to do the big impact in the world. Is it you? Give this a thumbs up. The leaders, the impact makers, the way showers of this world, it is time for us to freaking rise. And this is what I'm here to support you with. So if you guys are vibing with all of that, make sure you subscribe to our channel and you can check out the content. We have so much for you to binge on and you're going to absolutely love it here. So make yourself at home. So let's talk about the uh, weekly energy update. The 19 to the 25th. What is it that you need to know? Well, the first energy portal for you to realize is that we are literally moving, right, on the 19th. We are literally moving from this new moon energy in Gemini that happens on the 17th. So when you are going through this energy, and I made some videos on it, you can take it, take a look of it here. And when you're going through this energy, you will realize that as you are moving into this 19th type of energy moving into this week, you are going to notice a shift, a, a new beginning of some sort. I'm going to talk about it in the theme number two, but you're going to be noticing a, a, a change, a new beginning of some sort. It's like a new pathway has opened for you. Some of you guys can be feeling like, oh my gosh, I already knew what I wanted to do, but somehow like the direction that the universe is guiding me towards is like completely different. So highly recommend you watch my new moon video on the Gemini, our latest new moon. You can find it on my channel so much information for you. It's going to freaking blow your mind and why you're on this path that you totally didn't expect. So the first thing here is that expect the unexpected because your life path is unfolding right in front of you and in a way that is uh, can be quite surprising. I know for me, like there's certain things have been um, funneling through me, through my energy, through my spirit, where I'm like, I did not see this coming at all. I did not see these people coming into my life. I didn't see myself doing this long launching this, you know, doing half of the things that I'm doing now, like a lot of things are being reviewed to me. So let me know if this resonates with you as well. The number two things that you need to know about this week's energy update and forecast is understanding that as you are moving and moving and moving, you are going to be coming across this summer solstice, June the 21st. So the June 21st, it marks a couple of important things for you to know. First thing is that this energy of the summer solstice. So you know that this is a change of season, right? Spring is about new stuff, getting things started, preparing yourself, right? Cleansing yourself. But summer is about going out, having fun doing the things, right? You want to go to the concert, you want to go to, you know, the, I don't know, the festival. I don't know if any Canadians here in the house, but I used to live in Toronto and I always love going to the c and &E. Do you guys know that? If you're in Vancouver, you would know that there's a p and &E, I think is what it's called, right? It's like this fair thing that happens. So right in the summer, is that like you want to go out, you want to do stuff, you're just excited because you've just been planning and planning and planning. So same with your soul purpose your soul mission, right? Your business, what you're here to do. It's time to get some work done, right? It's time to actually do the things. Stop planning about it. Stop thinking about it, right? Gemini is about the planning, the processes, right? The ideas, the innovation, the, ooh, I'm excited. But when we're moving to this energy of the Cancer, which I'm going to talk about next, the sun is moving into the uh, Cancer season. And when you are in this energy of the summer solstice, there's going to be a very clear pathway opening for you that is going to be more lighthearted, but also, so not really lighthearted. It's going to be more fun, but it, it, it's still going to be mm, um, exciting. Okay, so you're going to see more movement, more momentum because the season has changed and I feel like it is time for you to, you know, wear your summer clothes, allowing yourself to truly be seen and allowing yourself to really have fun, allowing your skin to get more tan, your eyes to glisten more and your smile is going to be wider. So it's going to be a very 
beautiful and joyous time ahead. And the last theme here, theme number three, is that we are moving into the cancer season. June 21st is when we are moving into cancer season. Depending on which calendar you're looking at, just know that around this time, it doesn't have to be day specific, you are moving from Gemini to cancer. And what does it mean for you? Well, it means a lot of things, right? Gemini is an air sign, logic, 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 right? And then when we're moving into cancer, it's the water sign. Do we have any water signs in the house? Let me know down below. Are you a cancer? You have cancer in your chart. I am a water sign. Can you guess? which water sign, okay, some of you guys know, but some of you guys, you wanna guess, then we'll, we'll play this game, okay? So knowing that this is gonna be quite a, a deep emotional time, when we talk about freaking water, right? We're talking about like water, emotions. So there can be a lot of emotions coming through, especially when it comes to nurturing yourself, loving yourself, caring for yourself, it's gonna be very relevant to that. So any themes about self-love, self-care, you know, really working on your spiritual health, your mental health, your emotional health. I'm going to be running um, a program called Light Warrior. Okay, it is a 30 day, 30 day spiritual strength training to illuminate your life path, your life purpose in your mind, your body and your soul It's going to be in alignment for you to see that for you to align to your highest destiny path. So if this is you, you can see more and you can read more down below. But what this really is about is that this is a time for you to really purify this, the light inside of you. Okay, knowing that you are the light carrier. This is something I talk about again and again. And especially if you don't have me on my Instagram, follow me at Awaken with Tina because I go there live unexpectedly. And I also um, post a lot of really valuable stories and I share behind the scenes. So if you're interested in anything like that, really cool place to connect with me personally and to see what's going on. Knowing that this is a place, this is a time and place for you to realize that you have been given, you have been appointed with this light in you. This is why you've been seeing the vision. This is why you wanted to do the work that you're here to do. This is why you want to help people. But you cannot help nobody if you're not taking care of yourself. You cannot be sharing your light if your light is like tainted and, and dimmed, right? So that's why you have to be responsible for what you were given. This is taking care of your energy, right? Taking care of your health, taking care of yourself, taking care of your heart, but not even taking care, knowing how to work with it, knowing how to amplify with it. So if this is you, Light Warrior is going to amplify a lot of that, bringing a lot of that into illumination. We are enrolling, it's gonna be a live uh, training with me, very powerful, you can join anytime. Link is down below. Knowing that this is the time when you want to allow your heart to lead the way. Cancer energy is about nurturing. It's about surrendering to your heart's desire, your emotions. How many times have you been shaming your emotions? Thinking that it's wrong, it's bad, you're too emotional, you're too sensitive. Have you been told that? Right? I've been told that too many times in my life. Every time I cry, back in the days when I was dating this guy, you know, he would always tell me that, oh, you're so sensitive. I don't know why you're so emotional. Well, because I have freaking emotions, right? So this is a time when I realized that, you know, as I'm walking on this path and as I'm being shown more and more, our emotions are truly powerful. So we'll go more into it. I'll make a separate video on cancer season, what to expect, how you can work with it. If you want that video, let me know down below. Cancer season video, please and you know maybe I'll actually make it happen okay like this video if you got anything from it check out this uh, video here to understand what is coming up in June all the energies and down below in the description all the goodies check it out I love you and I'll talk to you soon